So to multiply a rational expression or to multiply two fractions together, that's really all we're doing here. You want to make sure that everything's reduced and you want to cross cancel as much as you can before you multiply. So you save the multiplying for the end of the problem. We're going to go through here and factor both fractions, see if anything can reduce or cross cancel, and then we'll multiply whatever's left. So on the first fraction, in the numerator, you can factor out a 6. In the denominator, you can factor out a 5. So on the second fraction, the top is a trinomial that you can factor using 7 and 3 as the factors. And for the denominator, those have a common factor of 2x. So here's what it looks like when we have all the factors broken down. Now I'll see what I can cross cancel. Here I can cross cancel x minus 2. Here I can cross cancel x plus 7. I can cross cancel 2 into 6 three times. And that's all I can do. So now I simply multiply or just write down what's left. All you have left in the top of the fraction is a 3 multiplied by x plus 3. And in the denominator, you have 5 multiplied by x. So here's your answer. You pretty much just write down the factors that did not get canceled out.